All right. Try to get you someplace where you can actually see what I'm not doing. So, thought I'd just bring you along with me today and do a little fiction on the old AC here. So, the problem with this thing today is some idiot who will remain unnamed um, had the tiller off this tractor and uh, Rather than pulling this tire off right here to pull the drive off, I just left the drive on there. And didn't really think about it too much. And ran around cleaning up the yard, stuff like that. Well, I needed the tiller again. Put the tiller on. And my drive is all froze up on the shaft here. So I gotta pull the tire, get the belts off, get the drive off clean the shaft up, grease it, and put it all back together. So, that's what we're going to do. So, first thing we got to do is pull this tire. Nice and shiny. So, you got to, of course, oil your air tools. Well, I don't have an oiling system primary set up in the garage yet. So I'm in six years. Let's tell them we got it done. I will get it done. So I made me this. So got a filter, uh, particulate water oil filter going into an oiler into the into the air tool. So and use that for a while, and then I can take it off. And it's a little bit unwieldy, but. off, which, of course, I got the tiller up. It should be a lot easier if I had that tiller down, but I've also got the jack underneath there, so. Whoop. Go for a Basically, I got, this is a tension rod for the tiller drive, so the belt just goes around this pulley, over the top of that pulley, around that pulley. So you just got to kind of squeak that pulley down through that little hole. Not too bad. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then the other pulley, or the other belt, you just take off. It's not too bad of a deal. So, let me get that going. See how long that my phone holds up videoing this before the battery goes dead. All right, let's get this rod off. It's just a cutter key, or cut, cut up in. Pull that loose. Now that should actually rotate. And it's not. Because it's really up. Actually, I'll clean that belt right there for the moment. Let's see. Yeah, if you basically allow this to tilt a little. This. So, I don't, I'm not a. You know really knowledgeable on the tiller yet but basically by tightening this you can make the tiller you know the tilt of it because of course it's at an angle there and the more you tilt it up the deeper it'll go but also it tightens this belt up so I'll loosen it up a little bit and i can get that belt off that probably didn't make a bit of sense but 
I understood what it meant. I don't know why you didn't. Just clear as mud. All right, so that's loose. Now I gotta do, which, looking at this tiller drive, it's not the first time that this has happened. Um, this thing has definitely frozen up before on other people. So, I'm going to attempt to do this without the tiller falling on me. Or the tractor, I mean. Looks like it's about time for a hardware store run. A lot of close your ears because I don't want you to hear this. I'm out of WD-40. That should never happen. So on here without okay, we're starting to get a little bit of movement. All right, I'm going to work on this a little bit. Now I'll get back when I get it moving a little more. All right, so we're working on it, but I wasn't going to do this, but I'm going to go ahead and... I was going to leave the tiller on, but it's just kind of in the road. So I'm actually going to take the tiller off. That's there for right now. Yeah, you can see the water draining out of that. That was real nice. There you go. There you go. That helps under that wheel. Bring the rim back to where it's. Yeah. 
two. And he's got one in the main lift arm up here. That's the way that should come out. That's the way that should not fall out. Yeah, you might have been able to see that. All right, so now with the killer off, so get that out of the road. Now I can go back in here. I don't necessarily have to jack it up, but yeah, it's just barely resting on that edge of that tire. At least like a little bit more support under it. All right, so. So far, I think I might have to resort to a little bit of heat. Since I don't have nope. it's the main. This is the tensioner, which is all boogered up. So I gotta fix that. Then you've also got. And I'll show you because I'm afraid I've turned this part clean it. Do all kinds of stuff with it. Ooh, the one that actually attaches it to the tractor. So, back to the grind. Come on, huh? Let's try a little bit of heat on that. See if that loosens anything up. And by a little bit of heat, I mean a little bit of heat because all I got is this chimney torch. I want to be careful because there are bearings in here. If I need this outside collar without heat to make shaft, that will increase the size of the collar. Hopefully, give it a little bit of room. There ain't a whole lot down there to heat on. Now, looks like this other part comes apart. I might have to take this apart to keep it on the tractor to get it apart and then reassemble it. We'll see. Well, I got some bubbles going. Let's see what that is. Oh, yeah, 
guy's pulling that. Three and one right in there. That might help. Heat it again. Basically what I'm trying to do is that, of course, as I heat that outer sleeve that everything rides on, it'll get a little bit bigger. Hopefully, and also the three and one will get thinner. Hopefully it'll kind of run down through there and hopefully loosen it up a little. That's my hope. here so basically you got yeah that's still hot too give me a pointer stick yeah that uh make a pointer stick all right this inside here there's a lock collar right here this unit revolves on this let me see it. all right so Maybe you can see it better this side. So, this is the part that slides, you know, the, the shaft right there slides in here. And you lock it all down. But to adjust my belt, this slide has to revolve on that. And that's not working. So, what I think we got to do, I think there's a key right, or uh, a... Allen head set screw right there. I think if I take that out, I can actually take and push this down off of this piece here. And then we can clean it and re put it back on. So, let me get that set screw out. Alright. So, I got the set screw out. Kind of banged that up, but all right so it has to basically drive off this end well this has been pounded on a few times here and there as you can see so there's some burrs on it where that has to come across so I'm just taking the file and knocking them down uh, just taking kind of knocking them down so I'll be back I'll get them knocked down and then we'll start getting this thing up all right so I think I got it cleaned up well enough on the other side so basically what I got that's a 5 8 inch half inch drive socket and it's just slightly smaller diameter than the shaft there so I should be able to drive this right over the top of that so without further ado probably looking at everything that you need to be looking at. Now you're looking at my knee. That's what you need to be looking at. It's my knee. Alright. So. I don't know how well this is going to work. But we're going to try it anyway. So. 
máy là nó hay như vậy not the best way to do this because that socket's probably going to eventually hit me but there's really no way to support this real well to be able to drive this down so That's what I could try. Oh God! Old men should not get down on the ground. Come out of there. I don't know whether this will work. Probably not. My gushness of it. Put that down in there. And I've stomped on this extension a lot. So. should not be under that tight because this all has to yeah see it's completely locked up now so it's a good thing we're doing this that means it's gotta all be cleaned up see but driven in that far well it's driven in the depth of that really don't want to bend this pulley. This is what I'm really trying not to do. And it's already bent enough. Thank you. 
halfway glitch. We have removage. Uh, you know what? That might not actually have to come over. Probably drive that back in then. Oops. Alright, now I gotta just clean that up. So, yeah. And it looks like there should be a clip on there to hold that in, which there wasn't. So, we might have to remedy that. And then clean the inside of this out. Alright, be back. All right, so we got this apart. I'm gonna clean this up, and I looked, and that groove right there, there is supposed to be a snap ring in it, so I've got to get a snap ring. But I'm gonna clean this all up. A little bit of sandpaper. I think what I'm gonna do is take this pulley off and give me a little bit more. To get in here, work on this one. So, maybe if things cooperate, I will. Oh, you know what? That's pulled straight through, isn't it? It is. Probably be a little noisy.
pressure all up. Now clean the inside of this one. And I'll be back. Alright, so he's all cleaned up. He slides apart real nice now. Right ahead and cleaned inside this one. You can still see a little bit of the original paint in there. Clean this one all up. And I actually cleaned inside this one. And cleaned the back shaft on the tractor up. So I thought before we reassemble it, how about if we make it look a little prettier? And maybe just possibly the correct color for what I want. I have a yellow tractor and an orange tiller. Let's make that, at least this part of the tiller, yellow. So, what I'll do, get my handy dandy drying rack here. I know these aren't perfectly cleaned up, but they're pretty good. Good enough for the girls I go out with right now. Later on it might get a full cleaning up. And re so I'm planning eventually on restoring the entire tractor, but right now I need to use it. So, I put them for there. Grab my uh, paint. I should have covered that with something, but I didn't. Could have even put the grease on it, which would have kept me from painting it. I thought I have to. I'll just touch it up with a quick hit of the sandpaper. I think it'll be alright. I don't think I'm getting a whole lot on it. Probably a few runs. I straightened this pulley up a little bit. I'm not going to worry too much about the yeah, my screws a little bit.
and I'm just using a what is it? A hammered a gray uh, hammered on the pulleys. I like the looks of it. So it kind of gives it a unique look. So then I'll probably hit them again with another coat real quick and then let them dry. And put it back together. So there's absolutely nothing better in the world than watching paint dry. So we'll get a little bit more wet paint on there so you can watch it dry some more. actually engagement lever for the for itself so it will make it pretty and yellow too. And then
All right. There we go. Nice tension rod, idler pulley. That is, I think that's the inside drive or anyway. That is uh, okay. Gotta go. All right, I'm just about ready to start putting stuff back together, but in the process. I had one little more issue with the tiller itself that I'm going to address. That's this. It's all wobbled out there. So it lets that tiller kind of sit crooked. So I think I'm gonna do to fix it. Right now, I've got a piece of half inch, I believe it's half inch conduit, which almost fits. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little piece of that off, and then I'm gonna split it down the side and take a small chunk out, and that way I can close it down a little bit, and I think I can get it in there, take up that slack. So we'll do that real quick. I'll get you set up here. I just took and cut a notch in it, and that way you can kind of squeeze it shut. We'll see if it'll kind of fit in there and work. So, let me see. I'll be right back. All right, so I got that driven in there, and that tightened that right up. I mean, there's a little play on that side, but. That's a lot better than what it was. So now, that should keep the tiller a little straighter, which would be nice. up and then we'll start putting the drive back together there we go yeah there we go that looks better okay so now over here kind of keep you in 